surrounded by these things that we use all the time um but we never know where they're coming from what they're made of or right. we even discard them so just looking at how things work questioning assumptions asking why all the cliche things but they're all really important that's what i like about industrial design where it i can apply the learnings um and the process to any kind of problem in any kind of field um welcome to career conversations and uh, where we discuss exciting career paths we interview professionals educators students to discuss their journey and give us important insights of their fields so that students get introduced to these career paths and guys today we will be discussing industrial design as a career path with arvin bhalamudi from rhode island school of design So currently he is doing his masters in uh, industrial design and Arvind has 2 to 3 years of experience in this field and he has recently filed for uh, two patents of his designs so welcome Arvind welcome to career conversations thanks bagashree happy to be here yes so uh, let's start Arvind then so uh, Arvind uh, we have heard about graphic design interior design and then we have many types of design that we have heard but what is industrial design right so um traditionally industrial design has to do with the form and function of some kind of product before it goes into manufacturing so it's usually to to do with physical products um but i would say that industrial design does go beyond that um it has to do with a lot of research prototyping um making testing um and all of those things can be applied to not just physical products but many industrial designers also do work in like interaction experience which i would say all fall under that category okay so then what does an industrial designer do like how ux designer we know graphic designer they do graphics but what are the examples that industrial designers actually what products they work upon yeah so um it depends on the project you do um in many cases so an industrial designer would in many cases start working with the research of the problem um okay. understand the problem and then come up with different kinds of concepts mm-hmm. um and those concepts need to be built out so there's a lot of making involved um and then you finally kind of apply those in different fields so it's a mix of i would say art engineering business uh, all to make products that can be used in day to day life everything from a toothbrush to electronics to space craft okay. oh that's great so can you walk us through your personal journey that how uh, you thought of entering into this field i think my interest started uh, in industri- industrial design when i was doing my undergrad in engineering um and during that time i was interested in making um different new products and uh-huh. to do that to learn the process from scratch um i got an award design is and what product design is which is very similar to industrial design the terms are used interchangeably sometimes and um through that i kind of learned the skills and got to even uh, got the chance to intern at uh, design studios um, where i learned a little bit more this was at idc school of design and betech at iit bombay um and there i learned more about what industrial designers actually do how they work um, how they collaborate and then kind of apply these skills to engineering and in projects too i don't was in mechanical engineering uh, at from samarasis pune okay. and in my final year project in that was a medical device for diagnosing glaucoma a disease okay. of the eye so that was a product that someone has to wear and it fits on your head and um, to design that i learned actually how to be how do we understand the making of a product um so yeah that's how it started oh that's great so in this journey while you were in this journey so was there any influence you had that you want to become an industrial design design yeah i had i had a lot of great advice um and feedback from people in the field um mm-hmm. um this was from i would say many professors who i interned with um also different people at companies like imaginarium um and which is a 3d printing company 
and i also had a lot of friends who were doing design in different institutions mm-hmm. and conversations with them also got me really interested in uh, the ability to kind of be creative with ideas make things okay. and that's how i got influenced by dp oh that's great okay uh so uh, coming to the next question arvind so can you describe that now you are doing your masters how does a how does it uh, look like i mean what do you do in your masters in your lab in your works at your workstations yeah so in the masters program we have one core studio called the graduate studio where um we learn the process for so industrial design i would say is a, is very important uh, when it comes to the process Mm-hmm. um of making a product so we focus mainly on that where we um we were very focused on kind of understanding how users think in this right. previous semester so uh, we had to talk to a lot of people um understand problems and um kind of the same process of visualizing making a product testing it with them but also iterating it and coming back to the starting position and improving it so this kind of cycle is what we do mainly in the studio and we are connected to a lot of maker spaces in okay. around rsd so um so we have we get access to different kinds of machines materials um 3d printers laser cutters um okay. and we use those to kind of build our products on a day to day basis yeah. so uh, i mean what type of opportunities are there in this field yeah so um i would say design companies are many times design studios um mm-hmm. where big companies or like companies which are making products would reach out to design studios so many industrial designers end up going to design studios or consultancy where they get to work on different projects for different organizations um but also there are industrial design roles at all the big companies which make products or even startups uh, that make products um which could be again physical digital or a hybrid of both um okay. and these are the kind of areas industrial designers can apply their skills in um whether it's research or it's making or it's visualizing on in 2d or 3d um so there are it's connected to all these different areas uh, because products are everywhere we're surrounded by them so i would say opportunities are also equally spread out where it can be in any kind of direction okay okay that's great so uh, now that we, uh, many of the students would be uh, keen to know that uh, what future opportunities would be there for designers yeah um so by future opportunities you mean like um, what kind of roles they could have or what kind of fields that will require industrial design what are the majority of the fields that yeah so um all the consumer products around us are are of course made by industrial designers when they are started off but i would say the areas which are really getting interesting right now are things like medical devices um, things like um, smart devices internet yeah. of things okay. robots um right. all of these are like tech and engineering focused areas but right. they have to be initially from a design perspective of understanding what needs to be done with an intent of solving the problem so of course design is a inherent part of it and that way all these areas even if when it comes to automobile design or like um or material design or material science one of the latest projects i was doing was in material science of understanding how we can create a new sustainable material um using fungus so i'm researching this in a lab where i'm basically doing chemistry which i never thought i would do oh, and wow. yeah i never thought i'd do that but i'm like mixing different strains of mycelium which is the fungus root and giving it different kinds of feed stocks and environments to see what material grows best and then i want to use this material for 3d printing so wow. it could be areas like that also wow that's great i mean uh, when we when i thought about as a designer i just visualized they are doing the sketching or they are using some online tools to do the 2d design 3d design and then rendering 3d printing but now yeah. that you have highlighted that you also work upon the material that should go in the 3d printer yeah. that's amazing that's really yeah. 
so that is also that uh, students can also go on that path also okay yeah yeah so arvin what type of uh, advice would you give to the juniors who want to enter into this field um i think one would be that is to be curious so like i said we are surrounded by these things that we use all the time um but we never know where they're coming from what they're made of how right. do we even discard them so just looking at how things work questioning assumptions asking why all the cliche things but they're all really important to like just be observant curious and um, you know learn from the things that we have around us okay being as a industrial designer and being into this field so what is that one thing that you like about this field um i think for me it's um to do with all the different possibilities uh-huh. uh, that i can work in having done industrial design so like right now i'm exploring materials but i'm also interested in vr and making vr products okay. um and also things like 3d printing and medical devices so that's what i like about industrial design where it i can apply the learnings um and the process to any kind of problem in any kind of field um and that that's what makes it very interesting and fun on an everyday basis too because you're always thinking about something new different uh, you're able to do things your way from scratch um right. and of course there's a lot of collaboration involved but you also see the kind of you get gratified by what you make so that's a very enjoyable part of the process for me wow that's great that's great so uh, arvin can you uh, if suppose students are in the high school right now so what type of advice would you give to them that what tools they can start with what resources are available for students to explore when i started learning about industrial design i think the first course i took was on coursera or edx it okay. was called uh, the delf design approach by tu delf uh, which is a really good school for doing industrial design um but that course taught me a lot in the beginning of what a product design is um and i guess from that i also went into youtube and different kind of online resources so i would suggest that like there are so many online resources um youtube itself is um very vast in terms of what all you can find That's true. and all of many of these software that are the skills that are useful for industrial designers like autodesk fusion 360 or um, even blender which is a little more advanced um they're very easy to like pick up because you get all the tutorials online um okay. skills like sketching or making things tinkering out of objects you have um all of those things are very accessible to so um just exploring these and having fun would be what i suggest okay okay so that's great okay so arvin thank you so much for giving us uh, so many detailed uh, tools and uh, i mean all the insights about this field and thank you for joining us today thank you about you yeah hope you find this interview interesting and helpful to understand industrial design as a career path and to watch more such exciting conversations around career paths please subscribe to our channel mysphere.net on youtube and if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you